You know, Six String Samurai literally checks most all of the boxes. Post-apocalyptic, um, the world is, is, is ended and kind of restarted. And So many aspects that grabs, grabs you into its storyline and the characters and just everything about it. It just had this feel of like a Mad Max movie meets a Kurosawa film with this totally cool 1950s rockabilly vibe. The wardrobe is cool, the music is cool. There's so many influences that are it's clearly pulling from, but there's nothing else that really is similar to Six Strip. Everything that's hip and goes on is in Las Vegas, and uh, a rockabilly samurai needs to get to Vegas to become the new king. Why don't we do some boogie boogie? I have a pretty clear memory of when I first came across the film Six String Samurai. Uh, it was when I was living in Chicago um, and I was at Reckless Records and I was browsing the used uh, DVD section as I did back in the early 2000s or late 90s. And I saw a cover of a Buddy Holly looking guy with a samurai sword and it just blew my mind um, because you know, I've always been a big fan of Buddy Holly. I, I grew up in the town um, where he died, actually, and, and seen him as a lead in a post-apocalyptic action movie. <laughs> I mean, that was killer. I saw it, I was working at a video store during high school, um, early 2000s, so I was probably like 16 around there uh, when I first saw Six String. We had a cult section, like any good mom and pop video store does and Six String was prominently kind of in there. It was something that had kind of just done well um, for the store. I took it home and I watched it and I was kind of blown away. It operates on so many different levels that it's kind of overwhelming um, and there's nothing really like it. It's just so much fun. I keep, you know, a lot of few people I've showed it to try to like compare it to Mad Max. It has a little bit of that vibe, that, that, that just gutsy, um, it's low budget, but it, it doesn't really feel low budget when you're watching it. You're not sitting there thinking this is a cheap movie at all. This is a movie that definitely has needed this. It's needed to come out. There's, you know, since I got my hands on that DVD, I have lent that, lent that DVD out to so many people. With something like Six String Samurai, the, uh, the cinematography, the colors, um, the attention to detail that they put into the film, the production design, all of that like really pops. So having a 4K UHD, I think is, is a good thing for this film. I think it really needed it. Six String Samurai is this type of film that doesn't really quite mash up with any other genre in our film library. You have such a wild mix, but you also have that it was a film that has a great following, but also is kind of hard to see at the same time, at least in the way it you know, should be seen. I know I love it, but I don't know if it gets enough love because every time like we talk about it, or it comes up, nobody knows what it is. Like they, they, it seems like people haven't heard of it. It's such a great movie. Just by virtue of the fact that it's an entertaining film, you can't not but enjoy watching the film. I mean, even if you, even if you don't like the plot or you can't really get into the characters, you're still gonna enjoy the music or you're going to enjoy the scenery or the way it was filmed. Straight up, I think our fans are gonna absolutely love this movie. Um, it's got everything. You have the wandering warrior. You, you, you have the, the kid turning into the hero. You know, you have the cinematography. Cinematography. The, the cinematography and the colors. Oh, the shots are gorgeous. The action in it is just awesome. It's got legit martial arts. The martial arts? The martial arts actually. Kung fu, samurai action. It's an action film, it's a love story. It, it made me cry. I love movies that made me cry in, in the best way. <laughs> it's funny. Dark humor, surrealism, and a little bit of art house. But it has this overall kind of fantasy quality that works really well. So if you just hear it described, it, it almost doesn't make sense, but when you see it, it just really works and it's a fun movie. I'm excited about people seeing Six String Samurai, a lot of them rediscovering it after many, many years, but also for people to see it brand new and who have never seen it before. I hope that this new restoration, the new presentation of Six String Samurai will, will give it a, a sort of second life because I, I think 
For the past 20 years, it's been largely forgotten.